good peoples here to do a pick a card reading question today is there is no communication why are they avoiding this connection what the fuck universe what the fuck once again no communication why are they avoiding this connection keep in mind this is a general reading guys so it may not resonate with everyone but should it resonate with you Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments. I adore them and I adore all of you. We'll be doing an extended read on this, digging in a little bit deeper to each situation. Um, so if you would like to do that after watching them, all of the links are going to be down below for the extended versions. And then if you would like to reach out to me to have a personal reading with me, the link for that is down below as well. I do have availability this upcoming week so I can get you in over the holiday week. So no worries, no worries. I got your back. MC Cataract, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we have three choices today. I don't know how people do more than three choices because three choices is a lot, but maybe I'll get there one day. I'm still a novice. So choice number one is Bring that ass here, boy. Mm. Yeah. Choice number two. Can't stop, won't stop. Uh-uh. Take that, take that. And choice number three. Call the jewelry store and tell them make me a grill. Number three is grills. So we have bring that ass here, boy. Can't stop, won't stop. And then grills. Once again, this is a general reading, guys, so it may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. If it doesn't fit, you must have quit. If it doesn't fit, let it fly. Let it go. Don't take it if it doesn't fit, period, point blank. These are general readings, so unfortunately, I cannot pick up on everybody's readings. But hopefully, whoever's energy that I, I said readings, energy, but hopefully whoever's energy I do pick up on, this resonates with you and for you and provides you some insight into your particular situation. It's a beautiful day, guys. Take a deep breath on three. One, two, three. Pick your card. Is it going to be bring that ass here, boy? Will it be can't stop, won't stop, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> Will it be grills? Call the jewelry store and tell them, make me a grill. Doom, doom, doom. All right, anyway. So, um, all of my information is down below. If you don't like singing, click off now. I'm not the reader for you. If you don't like rapping, click off now. I'm not the reader for you. And if you don't like somebody who don't know the lyrics to the song that they sing or rapping, click off now because I'm not the reader for you. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't want anybody to make up a song, guess what? Click off now, because I am not the fucking reader for you. Okay. Having said that, the tribe should be here, and it's time to begin. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with Bring That Ass Here, Boy. We'll move these on out the way. And... Time to dig in, universe. We got the pink pile here, the bring your ass here, boy pile. Got to back up a little bit, right? Okay, okay, okay. So, there's no communication. Why are they avoiding this connection? Hmm? There is no communication. Why are they avoiding this connection? All right, so I have two cards here. I was going to put them back, and the universe was like, what the fuck are you doing? Put them cards out. So we do have equilibrium here, and we also have the king of cauldrons with his dangling out on a rock, dangling out on a rock, maybe drying it out or something. I don't know. I don't know why anybody would put their dangling on a rock, but... I guess we're going to find out. Universe, there's no, no communication. Your cards keep dropping out two by two. We have the Druid and we have the Ace of Wands. Bottom of the deck, Four of Shields. 
So there is no communication. Why are they avoiding this connection? <sighs> okay. Well, I feel as though for the people that are resonating or will resonate with this reading or have chosen this reading, this person has, or someone in this relationship, situationship, has held back in the past. Um, typically, the Four of Shields or the Four of Pentacles, they have the pentacles up to their heart. They're blocking their heart chakra. They're blocking their heart space um, and holding back, being very stubborn. This person is sitting out, it looks like in Moscow, in the cold, just chilling with his pentacles on his lap. Um, in this deck, this pentacle right here always makes me think about the ace of pentacles, right? Always makes me think about the seed being planted. But the crazy thing is this dude looks like he is contemplating planting these seeds in the wrong season. So for many of you, I just feel like the timing was off. I feel like the timing was off. They were holding back, being very stubborn in this situation, really not wanting to move. I feel as though, bottom of the deck here, I feel as though you may have given a lot or someone in this situation gave a lot, thinking that the more you gave, the more or the less stubborn they would become. They would warm up. This person is cold as ice long ago, right? I'm Rick James, bitch. That person is cold, very, very cold. And, you know, in this relationship, the give and take was off balance. It was off kilter. Um, even here, this, this Hierophant's necklace looks like a seed. It looks like a pentacle, right? Um, I just feel as though you all faced each other. And for some of you, this could be a same-sex relationship, but you all faced each other and there was a lot of shedding that needed to be done with the snake in the background. There was a lot of shedding that needed to be done, a lot of layers that needed to be removed, a lot that needed to be released, a lot that needs, needed to be spoken of. Um, and a lot of darkness. You see, this is like light peering through the darkness. So you would, you would receive glimmers uh, or beams of light beams of hope, right? Um, through their iciness. So I said, so I said, I mean, they cold as ice. You will receive that, um, hoping once again, that this person will be warm up to you, warm up to the relationship. And I don't feel like that happened. I don't feel like that happened. And there's been a toss up here. Really going through the process of balancing oneself. I feel as though many of you or someone in this relationship has been very patient, hoping for this hidden gift in this rainbow, hoping to find the treasure at the end, hoping for a lucky leprechaun to peer his head out and be like, surprise, it's all good now. But that never happened. That never came into fruition. And so you had your foot in the water, but you too, if you're honest with yourself, you were hesitant about putting both feet in because you only receive so much. Every once in a while, you will receive a glimmer or a beam of light, right? In that darkness. But for the most part, this is a very dark situation in that you were not emotionally fulfilled. And quite honestly, neither was this person. There's a reason why this person is cold, cold as ice. There's a reason why this person had been blocking themselves and now is starting to come out of that, starting to thaw out. There's a reason why. And the reason why is because the timing was off. Remember, they were trying to plant seeds in a season that would not be conducive to growth, right? You, you can't start um, a farm. You can't plant the seeds on the farm field when the snow is on the ground in Minnesota or Moscow. It's not going to happen. Trust me. I spent the winter in Minnesota. It's not going to happen. It's not. We couldn't even build a full building in Minnesota in the wintertime. So um, the timing was off. And the reason that they have been avoiding this situation is because of timing. Timing has been completely off. And so now um, I feel as though through this separation or through this period of no communication, 
they have been really going back and forth with how they felt about you, how they feel about the situation. If they truly want to um, invest any more time into this situation and wait for the perfect time to actually plant these seeds. I feel as though you've planted yours or someone has planted the seeds, but someone didn't meet the other person because, you know, someone was given way too much. So, um, there, there's, there is love here. You know, this man got his dangling on the rock. There's love here. Um, there's a wave of emotion, but there's also a frigid air. There, there's coldness here. And this person hasn't thawed out yet. Um, I feel as though they are considering and thinking about doing that because something has been ignited within them. Someone wants a new beginning. And I think right now the toss up is, do they want a new beginning with you or do they want a new beginning with someone else or a new beginning elsewhere? So the reason as to why they are avoiding this connection is simply because <clears throat> they don't know if they want to invest in this situation anymore. I feel to a certain extent, some of them are ashamed of allowing you to do as much as you did and not being able. There's, there's a reason why this person, and we'll find this out in the extended, but there's a reason why this person is so icy and so cold. They're not just doing this for shits and giggles. This isn't a game. There, there's no cards out here that are talking about manipulation. So this isn't a game for them. This is, um, this is their life. And it's a matter of them dealing with their own shit and warming up to life. You know, this person has been like this for a very long time. And I feel as though this person is learn these types of behaviors from their family, from their parents, the way that they were reared. Some of them are orphans. Some of them didn't have family. Some of them are, are use this as a protective mechanism and cover their heart chakra because they've never known love, right? I want to know what love is. Yeah. They want you to show them. Maybe, right? They're, they're afraid. There's fear here. There's fear here. There's, there's a sense or an air of emotional uh, unavailability and fear. But look at this. <laughs> there's also hope. There's also hope. You got the Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups. And this Page of Cups is turned towards this, right? But feeling like a fish out of water. This fish belongs in an ocean, not in a cup. So this person doesn't has never felt free in love. This person may have felt um, abused in love. Air quotes, love, because that's not real love. Love doesn't abuse anything. Um, the in the in people, the love that this person is used to is very dark. It's not warm. It's not passionate. It's not caring, compassionate, giving. It's not, it, it had a withhold. It was conditional. It was not unconditional. And it, it did not allow them to grow, develop and unfold. It was very dark. And I feel as though this is, this is the type of love that they witnessed in another relationship, whether it was in an orphanage, whether it was, you know, by the, whoever raised this person, did not show them unconditional love. So they are just now moving into an energy where they have to learn that. They're unaware of it. So that's what the holdup is. That's why they're avoiding this. Because with you, they know they got to come with it. They got to come with it. They know they got to move out of Moscow. We can, we not living there. What the, who wants to live in Moscow in the wintertime? No, we got to get a summer home. And they play with the, the idea of letting you in. That's why those are down. And they like, okay, so if we get a summer home, I got to take this so I can plant it. They really want to plant the seed. But honestly, 
they don't have the skill set or the tools to do so. And that's why they're avoiding this. So, yeah. So we're going to dig a little deeper in the extended reading. See what's going on in this person's psyche. See if we can figure out anything else about them. Join me. The link is below. If not, thank you so much for being with me thus far. Moving on to can't stop, won't stop. Uh-uh, uh-uh, take that, take that. All right, so the people who chose can't stop, won't stop. Universe, no communication. Why is their person avoiding this connection? Why are they avoiding it? Hmm? Be as clear as possible. Got the moon card. I'm in orange moon. Why am I singing it? I'm in orange moon. King of Wands. Reflecting the light. All oh, y'all got y'all back to me. Put your back up against the wall. Hey, Queen of Cups, dance. Come on. Put your back up against the wall. And a tower card. What we got at the bottom of the deck? Ace of Pentacles. That came out in the first reading. And three of Pentacles. Why are they avoiding this connection? Easy peasy Japanesey. So there's been a breakdown. There's been a breakdown. Two, two people here doing two different things, focused on two different things. Um, so we have the king of wands here shedding. See the snake. Releasing things, going through a dark night of the soul, not wanting anyone to witness that except the mystics, the universe, being guided right now. Um, I feel as though led to this place through... Um, an unexpected event could have been something, I mean, like a serious one. I'm talking something sinister. Um, maybe this person is in jail. Maybe this person, um, had an overdose. Maybe this person was abused. Maybe this person was, I'm not feeling any sexual abuse, but it could have been something dark. Maybe this person went into, um, rehab. Maybe this person is an alcoholic, something like that. This person is dealing with some type of dark night of the soul and trying to, or attempting to get their life back on track. This person turned away because in truth, and I'm feeling like this is many of you. So I'm about to be really honest with you and tarot card readings, you know, anything that you deal with on a mystical level or universal level, it really asks you to be very honest Someone was unaware of the darkness that this person was going into and or going through and they were being very selfish because they were unaware. Their mind was playing tricks on them and because of that, they thought they were cheating. They thought they were this. They thought they were that. They thought they were this and they, they just kept thinking me, 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 me and it was too much. And so both of you guys have separated and gone to your separate sides of the ring, right? It's like, ding, 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 ding. Okay, time to separate. We can't do this no more. We can't. So the universe, I mean, you have two major arcana cards here. The universe took notice of this and was like, the only way to bring about peace is to destroy this faulty foundation, right? We got this dove here, right? These mugs need to know why doves cry. And the universe started playing prince and was like, doom, doom, doom. Doom, 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 doom. And y'all put on heels and you had on veils over your eyes and hats and berets and guitars. And y'all was like making up dance routines all of a sudden. No, I'm joking. But the universe was like, we need to uh, bring in peace because this, this foundation is faulty and it cannot last. It can no longer last. And so that was the end of that. Three of Pentacles here. For a time, you all worked well together, but there are secrets here. There are secrets here where one person is going through a very dark night of the soul and they need to deal with themselves right now. And if you are unable, and that's just being honest, if you are unable to see them through this separately, physically, 
together spiritually, then it's time that you guys separate and go your separate ways. This is calling for a higher elevation of love, right? This, all of these cards are dark. And then here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. That's all I know of that song. But all of these cards are like pitch black. So you all are, this relationship is in a dark night of the soul right now, but this separation is absolutely purposeful. But it, 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 it begs you to raise to a higher elevation to allow one another to shed. This person has to shed. This can't be stopped, this process. This can't be stopped. The only way that it, it, this process can be stopped is if this person takes one more step into this darkness and overdoses or drinks themselves to death or, you know, commits suicide. This is, this person has a lot that they, a lot of wands that they are bearing. This is the king of wands. His chair is made out of those wands. He sits on them. He doesn't release them. He sits on them, contemplates, thinks about them, thinks about how he messed up. And I'm saying he just because it's the king of wands, but thinking about how they messed up in life, how they just can't seem to get it fucking right. And then the world is on their shoulders right now. And it doesn't matter how maybe trivial you may, may think this is or appears to be. For them, this is hell, right? So their best is not your best. And so these expectations of this relationship are smothering the love. Where fear is, love cannot be. There's a, there's a, um, a energetic feeling though of true friendship, you know, true peace, admiration. I just feel that if this person were to tell you what they were going through, it would satiate your chaotic mind, your, your need uh, to be calm, but only temporarily. You would only calm down temporarily because again, you wouldn't see this situation as being as big as it truly is for them. You all can't be together right now. The universe won't allow it. They are, are avoiding this connection so that they can deal with themselves and get themselves through this cycle. And they're really, in truth, saving you from their darkness, protecting you from their darkness. They're waiting to heal. They're waiting to come alive. They really are. They're waiting for, they, they at this point are either welcoming death or are suffering so much they have no choice but to live. But both paths are full of darkness. And they really want to come out of that. And so, yeah, there's been some sneaky behavior because of what this person has done. Again, jail, you're talking drugs, you're talking alcoholism, you're talking about a gambling situation. Like whatever it is that they're doing, they're sneaking around because it's not anything that they are proud of. They're ashamed of it. Whatever they've done, they're ashamed of it. You don't know who this person truly is. You've never, I mean... You, th there are a lot of soul secrets that this person is holding back from you. A lot of pain that this person is holding back from you and protecting you from. This person lacks confidence, whereas you don't. And the more you try to force your way into this person's life, the more darkness um, that will overcome you. It's contagious. You're contagious. Touch me, baby. Give me what you got. So this person is really thinking about um, working, not thinking about working on themselves. This person is doing their best to work on themselves. And I feel the cycle that they'll go into is then thinking about coming out of that into the sun. They want to come into the light, but they know that they have to go through this dark night of the soul. This person is protecting you. They're not even really avoiding this connection. They're protecting you from themselves. They can't be what you want them to be. They can't be anything anybody wants them to be. They have to go through this dark night of the soul right now. They just have to. There's nothing you can do about it. I, I just say hold space for them, period. Hold space for them and send them love. 
if you can't deal with something like this, move on. If you want to, if you want to, I don't suggest anybody wait. I think you should be working on yourself right now because something has attached itself to you because there's a lot of darkness and even you're in it. So I'm going to dig deeper in the extended reading guys. Um, so if you like to follow me over there, the link is down below. If not, see you when I see you. All right. So reading number three, grills. Call the jewelry store and tell them make me some grills. Doom, doom. Don't I know. Don't I know. Oh. All right, universe. No communication. Why are they avoiding this connection, universe? There is no communication. Why are they avoiding this connection? Okay. First card out is 10 of crystals. No communication. Whoa. Okay. Six of wands. No communication. Why are they avoiding this connection? There's no communication. And we have the four of cups. One more. No communication. Why are they avoiding this connection? Uh-oh. Three of crystals. And bottom of the deck. <laughs> Why not? Let's keep the party going. Ace of Crystals. So this person, <clears throat> this person is focused on um, two things. Ace of Crystals would be equivalent to the Pentacles. The Crystal suit in this deck would be equivalent to the Pentacles. Um, this person I feel is is focused on money uh, advances, advancement, material wealth, right? Um, they want to make it rain on life, right? Dollar bills for everybody. Like they just got life shaking their booty in a strip club and they like, here you go, baby. Here you go. Here you go. They want to make it rain on life. They want to be like set up in life. This person has very high ambition, um, uh, an unstoppable drive and determination. And they, they, I feel like some of them are going into business by themselves and just got a lucrative contract and others of them are just moving up the corporate ladder and that's their focus. That's who they are. Love it or leave them alone. Hey, you got to love them or leave them alone. And love is just not something that is in the foreground of their mind. It's not, you know, they are not into the whole love thing got the Siamese cat there um this person feels as though they they do not excel in love and this person you're talking about somebody who they went to college they were like you know the the athlete the popular football player the you know excelled in school in high school same way in middle school the same way people have always doted on them for their achievements and that's where they feel comfortable love is very foreign to them this person is very logical stays in their head all the time and is passionate about the material world not so much about um their 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 relationships that are romantically bound but this person right now is going through a transformation something is shifting within them because you know all these cards that i'm looking at you see like these beams of light that i'm picking up as being like entities like the mystic world and something about you in their life right? You coming into their life. This is sacred geometry that the very makeup of, um, life of all life, life forms, everything. So, um, this person I feel is like completing, uh, a circle of life coming into the understanding of how we're all connected, how, you know, syn synchronicities occur in their life. Things are happening to them. They're seeing like numbers, um, messages from the universe, they're receiving downloads, things that are very real to them, but are very mystical in reality. And it's blowing their mind a little bit. And this all began when you showed up and it makes them extremely uncomfortable. Um, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. It makes them extremely uncomfortable. And I feel as though they, they are avoiding this connection because they are avoiding their higher selves. 
they are they excel in this grounded 3d earthly plane when it's time to rise above that it freaks the shit out of them right even look at these dots these entities these orbs so i feel as though you showing up and offering them um, these slivers, and I'm not saying that your love is small, but just, I feel as though you kind of knew that love was, it scared them a little bit. So you showing up and offering them slivers and pieces of spiritualism, you know, maybe because you knew that they wouldn't embrace it so wholly and fully, you just showing them how everything is aligned. I feel like that scared them. It scared them off. Um, but you're confident in what you know or they are, however this resonates. You you both are masters of um, certain aspects of your being, but together you create Voltron, right? Um, so I feel as though this person is coming into an understanding or an inner standing. They got the understanding. Um, they've stood under their achievements for so long and have truly identify with those, but now it's time for them to move into the spiritual realm and to really advance or open up their mind to this new frontier. And it's scary. So that's what they're avoiding. That's why they moved away from you. Um, you and your mystic mysticism, get away from me with that. They might've joked with you about it. Like just how deep you would go with something and to make themselves feel more comfortable. Maybe they crack jokes or something like that. Um, but the thing about it is that I feel as though there's a tie here. And so they'll always come back to you. It's the voyage to Atlantis, right? You got the four of wands that just came out in the clarifiers. So in moving, and then at the bottom of the deck, you have the ace of pentacles. So in moving away from you, they are actually moving towards you. Um, but so this period of no communication, it's just them really trying to wrap their heads around all this, these signs that they're receiving, all of these orbs that are around them. I feel like their spiritual guides are very strong and they're showing themselves to them now. So this relationship, I feel, does have the energetic capabilities to be grounded um, because this ace of pentacles will begin. They've already reached this 10 of pentacles or this 10 of crystals, right? So now they're beginning again. They've already made the, the monetary achievements. They've, you know, they've reached those heights, but now it's time to start something new. And this newness is going to be a relationship, a foundation um, that they set up that I feel as though they can set up with you. It's like they're, they're starting over now that they have the money. They're coming back for the heart. But they've got to get a good understanding. This person could be at a distance from you. They've got to get a good understanding of, because they're very logical. They got to wrap their heads around like, what the fuck are these herbs? Why do I see 111 and 1111? Oh my God. You know, or it's just like, they're receiving a lot of downloads right now and a lot of different signs. And it's just a little scary for them. It's shaking the shit out of them. So that's why they're avoiding this connection because you're the key to that. And when they stay away from you, they can kind of focus again on this money and shit. But then when they come around you or text you or reach out to you or vice versa, it's like, there goes 1111 again, shut her out or shut him out. I can't do this shit, you know? Um, but this person is more spiritual than they even know. When they come like step fully into this, whoo, shit gonna get real. So that's what I have for you guys. I'm going to do an extended reading on this you like to follow me over there, the link is below. If not, thank you so much for joining me. If you like to reach out for me for a personal reading, all of my information is below. I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.